Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Kevaki, and today's a very special day because we're gonna be reacting to a new video called How the Sidemen Built a $100 Million YouTube Empire. Guys, listen, I am a huge fan of the Sidemen. I've been a huge fan of the Sidemen since 2019. Uh, the KSI v Logan two boxing match got me into the side man and it was super dope and then I just started binging all of their videos and I've been a uh, side man enthusiast <laughs> every Sunday since then I've been in I've been watching every side man Sunday video I watch a lot of more side man videos and I went into every single member's channel to just binge their stuff and I'm even a side plus member so yeah that's how much of a fan I am I paid the hundred dollars a year so I could watch it but yeah I'm really interested to see how they built a YouTube empire and I like the levels that they bring to this platform and I'm curious to how to emulate it and how to grow from it and how to just be smart about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to talk your ear off any longer than I probably will be doing during this video. So let's just get started with this reaction. And before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can support me by buying my merch. The link is going to be in the description and also pinned in the comments as well. And finally, let's just get started with this reaction. Now. In 2022, the Sidemen are international superstars. They're creative pioneers, creative businessmen, and the face of UK YouTube. But all this fame and acclaim starts with seven in their bedrooms itching for an impossible future. It's a success story for the ages, but can it ever be done again? I don't know. This journey is a decade in the making. Let's whiz through. <gasps> Simon and JJ knew each other in school, as did Toby and Josh. They hung out online for a while before inviting Ethan one day in 2013. Vic joined later that year, and the six of them began a GTA group called The Ultimate Sidemen. <laughs> Fancying one more member, the group was completed with Harry's arrival in early 2014. Dope. All seven were creating individually on their own channels before deciding to join forces. And thus... Bro, look at them. <laughs> hey, yo. This is a major throwback, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. Sidemen were born. The first year was a quick success. The GTA videos found traction, and clearly the boys had stumbled upon something interesting. Absolutely. So much so that with their growing platforms, rising monetization, and flourishing friendship, they left their parents' homes and created the Sidemen House. Jeez. Classic. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Sidemen's output hit maximum overdrive. With nothing to do besides record videos all day uh. in each other's company. Ah. YouTube channels grew and grew and grew. All things considered, they'd landed in the perfect setup. They were doing what they loved in an environment that encouraged. Oh shit, I just realized Sidemen House was probably the original anything, content I'm creator sure house. Was a crossroads moment. It was a huge risk moving into a house with practically strangers. Ooh. YouTube was big at the time, but being a YouTuber, it wasn't quite respected yet. At least I'm sure not from their parents. That's true. The value of the job was revealing itself, but there were no guarantees. And they were young, finding their feet, working out who they were. Was it the right decision? Fuck it. I've got 300 subscribers in an hour. I'm gonna go and do more. <laughs> they were kids chasing a dream. Seven lads who wanted a different life and wanted to have fun along the way. <laughs> Got the boost, boys! I need to do more of it, I need to do more of it. Play, record, edit, sleep, repeat, over and over. They put the graft in, days at their deck. That's one thing I'll say about the Sidemen, man. Like, these seven are, like, the hardest working content creators on this platform. Like, they literally, literally, like this dude said. Matter of fact, what's his name, actually? Let me give you respect. Literally, as Dodford said, Dodford said, bro, like, record, sleep. Eat, record, like, bro, they just keep on going, bro. Cultivating something big, they were only just sniffing. Something was forming here, and millions began to notice. The Sidemen House really brought the lads together. Aww. <laughs> so, would you get the fuck off? And Vic is such an innocent, aww. They were truly best friends. They were each integral parts of the group. But a side effect of broadcasting your lives like the boys were was something interesting. Hmm. We felt like a member too. Facts. It was intimate. When fans today say they grew up with the side men, this is where it began. Let them see this real quick. Oh, I would hate that. Hell, hell no. Personalities bloomed. 
dynamics developed and the character archetypes were formed. It didn't take long to expect Vic to be bullied. Fuck you, Damn it! Ugh. Something weird. Or Ethan to laugh hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> man shows to a sitcom cast. Fans. You know what? That's actually pretty interesting that he put it like that. Like, I think that's literally what it is. It's almost like, especially when you look at their more Sidemen videos or some of their old holiday videos, because they they record it in such like a sophisticated vlog style. It makes it more intimate, but it's definitely like sitcom worthy where it's like, dang, it's almost like watching Modern Family, but UK but more nerdy, which is kind of cool, you know, and it does make you a lot more relatable. Bitch. To remain in a reformed European Union, we have a disaster called the big lie. Champions of the world. The mid-2010s were the golden era of YouTube. Facts. Media. Despite coming from backgrounds in gaming, the side of them were finding great success in their real-life content. Of course, YouTube was... 2012 to 2017 was, or 2018, Elite. Joe Sarg and his creator friends reigned the platform for years. <laughs> many of these guys are nowhere to be seen in 2022. Asked why, Joe Sarg said, My audience have all grown up, or the audience I had back then, they're all now in their 20s. Mm -hmm. The stuff that I knew how to make back then is not what they want to consume now as content. Which means one yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, like adapt. 10 years, yeah. Not like the side Welcome mm. to the Sidemen Channel. Jeez. 2016 was a pivotal year for the Sidemen. It was time to expand, attempt new things. Their shared channel was born just in time for their first charity football match. Dope, man. Uh... Oh, you know what's crazy? They're, I think next Saturday or this Saturday, they actually have another uh, charity match. This is actually pretty dope. Damn. Which is fantastic. They tightened up their branding, Boy. hired the right people, and a decision was made to slowly phase out their gaming content in mm. favor of their newer project, Sidemen Sunday. <laughs> These videos, every Sunday, started modestly with standard trends and ideas. Yeah. It didn't take long, however, for those ideas to expand alongside a growing budget. These videos were <laughs> Sidemen really sensing their creative potential. The no. Dang, it's, it's crazy because you can literally see them week by week grow. Content. The Sidemen channel raked in millions of new fans and larger corporations noticed. Sidemen show. In 2018, show. the group announced that Published on YouTube Originals, the seven-part series was the boys' first dip into traditional media. With professional... Huh, seven parts, seven, seven, seven members, seven makes sense. ...equipped with real production value as well as celebrity co-stars. This series had all the bells and whistles of larger productions, but still the authentic heart that the Sidemen fans loved. I think we're just going to drive by noon, like you get your ass up and just drive by the loop. Oh, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all this, the boys never tried to repeat it, but they did catch a taste for that production. You know what? I know why. It's crazy because they say that they hate it and they will never do it again. I think that if they did it in 2022, they would kill it, but... The thing is that they would need to do it. They would have to produce everything themselves, though. Like, that's the only way it would work. Because what made that show kind of meh was actually something very simple. It was literally the fact that there was too many forced storylines and narratives. And that's what made the show a little cringe to watch. Like, luckily, they were entertaining enough because they are content creators. And they know how to do it. But it was too constricted with the uh, reality show format. But if you let them create it themselves, if you give them the budget and let them do what they want, man, nothing whack, like nothing like, nothing like 20v1 or Tinder, but like literally a holiday, a seven part, Sidemen do seven, seven holidays and seven days. I don't know, you know, something cool like that. And let them film, vlog it, hire the right people. Man, it would be a banger, bro. Not just for YouTube, but for any platform. In my humble opinion, you know. Wanting to take matters into their own hands, but knowing they'll need help, they laid their eyes on talent manager Tanya Pipe, who oh. helped put the YouTube original series together. And we were just like, yo, like, do you want to be our personal manager? Ooh. She was just like, fuck it, let's go, let's see what happens. I never knew that. That's actually a major W. This catalyzed a new era of Sideman Sundays. Wow. Ideas, larger budgets and longer and longer screen time. Wow. That's a big budget right there. Single Sunday. <laughs> I, I remember that video. They were huge videos, but more importantly, they were consistent. Please tell everybody your favorite magic spell. Oh, God. 
That regularity, alongside the boys' hunger to keep pushing, forced the Sidemen into the mainstream. This holiday video in which... Oh my... Okay. This is the video that I first saw in 2019, bro. Like, And this is when... I didn't know anything about the Sidemen. Like, I just happened to watch it. I don't know how I came across it, but I saw it and I was like, bro, this was the funniest, most authentic vlog style. It was like a two hour movie, bro. Shit was fire. Like 100% one of the top 10 best YouTube videos of all time. Like, swear to God, this shit was so good. And it was so funny because I wish I was a fan back in the day so I could understand the lore of everything. Because after I found out everything about the Sidemen and then I watched, you know, the first... 100 versus $10,000 uh, holiday and then seeing the road trips and all that and then went back to it I was like yo this video is even funnier and it's just even more kind of crazy just off of that man so this was a banger Cheap and expensive group went platinum on paper it's two hours of the lads abroad Bro fact lie, This video is pure entertainment Yes and they filmed it all themselves man the extensive planning and absorbing performances there's an effective yeah. story here shout out to josh for planning this video he killed it the side men were now operating at their highest potential yeah which means they had a lot to lose how could they ensure all of this success didn't start crumbling hmm. the side men are made up of more fame more money and influence than they <laughs> ever expected yeah. They've gone from gaming after school to having the world at their fingertips. It's a power shift sure to go to the heads of most. Yeah. Families never forgot their roots. A system had to be put in place to keep each other grounded. Right, you sacrifice personal goals and achievements also for, for a group in, in yeah. general. And it's not because it's just like brand achievements, it's with friends, right? The side men are pretty clear about who's Shout in Shout out to Ethan, man. Ethan's a they knew underrated they won, bro. But keeping it democratic would eliminate egos. Mm -hmm. With no leader, everyone has equal priority and responsibility. Every Sidemen Sunday you watch was assigned to a specific member whose job it was to all That was a that was a banger. The, ban the first abandon was fire. It's tallied up on a spreadsheet next to the member who directed. The goal is to rotate this assignment around with responsibility being shared equally. Yeah. This is only half the system. How did the Sidemen eliminate tardiness? The card oh. system is the group's way of ensuring accountability. And if you're 30 minutes late to a shoot, you get a yellow card. Too late. And a red card. With the red card, the Sidemen Sunday you directed is now scrubbed off your tally. Mm. Why is this bad? Because now you're behind the rest of the group. And remember, the goal is for this tally to be equal amongst all of them. Next time a video is assigned, it has to go to you. If you have to sacrifice maybe like one thing that you can do at a later date for the benefit of six of your friends, you're gonna do it. If you get yellow cards, you have to put more work in then. Mm -hmm. The more you let the team down, yeah, the more, the more work I... you do. Oh. This decision might be the key factor why the group is still so strong today. The group takes priority and they've all recognized this. Yeah. Their longevity is a result of discipline and selflessness. But it would be criminal to leave their team out of this. For Absolutely. Years, Simon boys were jack of all trades. You have to be when starting YouTube. Absolutely. So knowledge of sound, camera, marketing, distribution, design, Absolutely. and editing. But there's a oh, crucial God. in every creator's growth where they have to leave that control behind. We have a couple people that are so essential to the whole operation now because they've come in and they've just put us first on yeah. a daily basis. Damn. And today, they have an expert team of specialists that help bring their dreams to reality. Dozens of employees that help on thumbnails all the way up to building businesses. They've recruited powerful people with talent and drive that helps complete the side yeah. members. And in doing so, the group's job titles have evolved. I think the one thing that's very different about being a video creator is that to do it as a job, you have to become a distributor. As they've aged, qualities in management, supervision, and leadership have had to form. A spirit for enterprise emerged, and many successful business ventures are thanks to the Yeah, business man. Business. These, these seven dudes are, like, so inspirational to me, bro. Stupid inspirational to me, man. Because they show how far you can take it as a content creator. And the reason why I'm using that term instead of just YouTube is because, to me, a content creator is somebody who, who obviously <laughs> creates content and uh, distributes, it out, di distributes it out to the world. You know what I'm saying? And a content creator isn't just limited to somebody who creates video. Because to create videos, to be honest, the real title... Matter of fact, I'm a, I'm a, it's almost done, so I'll say after. This rock-solid foundation and guidance 
it's really hard to see the sideman slowing down anytime soon. You Absolutely. guys really could do sidemen forever. Yeah. I wouldn't want to, but you can. Maintain your lifestyle forever. I'm sure the sidemen look back on their journey as a bit of a fever dream. Yeah, that's KSI. Accomplished so much. That's crazy. Every step is still there to be watched. Just ten years ago, they were kids playing FIFA in their bedrooms. They didn't know their place in the world, what was destined for them. They just had the balls to imagine. Yeah. So creative thinking, an endless drive, and a whole lot of responsibility. But the side men paved their own. Jeez, way. look at these dudes, man. Seven kings right here, bro. Look at them, man. They deserve all the success. Man, I'm not gonna lie. As possible as it seems now, I'm sure back then they felt the same way. Yeah. YouTube today might seem like an impenetrable fortress, like the stars are already established. It does. The world latched onto the side man for who they were. You don't need a million dollars or a dedicated team. Audiences want one thing, and that's you. Ultimately, yeah. the side man proved one thing. Jeez, kings right there. If you just believe in it, do the fucking work. Hey, this dude right here? What's his name? He made a banger video, bro. I'm glad that he acknowledged the side man. I might subscribe to you right now, bro. This was a banger video. 100%. I love this video right now. I'll, I'll probably watch it anytime I need to be reminded of what I'm doing this for. I'm trying to build a brand. I'm going, I'm going to, I'm building a brand. I am, you know, my bad. I, I, gotta, I like to pause them super, I like to pause them super cool pictures. But, you know, I'm gonna, definitely gonna go back to this video anytime. I need to remember why I do this because I'm doing it. That's, I'm doing it for myself because I've always wanted to be a content creator and just uh, be successful in doing that because it's just something I love to do. I love to entertain people and I love to create things at a moment's notice, you know? But what I was gonna say earlier is that like to be a content creator is to be, he said it perfectly, is to be a jack of all trades. It's not easy, bro. Like people think that you just turn on a camera and just go. Some people can do that. Some people can't, you know? It's a learned talent and you have to sit down and entertain people for like sometimes technically hours on end, you know? And some people are blessed enough to have editors and directors and blah, 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 blah. blah. Some people don't, you just kind of have to create that spark and create that want, that need for people to watch you, you know what I'm saying? And and hold their attention for so long. And that's why I really respect the side man. And I respect so many content creators because it's so hard. Like, especially I've been doing this for like seriously for a year. And um it's not easy, man. I had to learn how to develop my voice, had to learn how to look in the camera, had to learn how to edit, produce, direct, create my own merchandise which you should buy the link is going to be in the description also pinned in the comments as well but <laughs> like yeah like it's very very hard it's to be a content creator is to be a producer to be a jack of all trades like he said again and it's to be very diligent consistent disciplined and that's what these guys are and that's what they represent and the levels that they should like that they took it to is what's so impressive like youtube can shut down at any moment and they created so many avenues of businesses so that they can live a lifestyle, not even just a luxurious lifestyle, but so that they can survive and be uh, good and their families and their peoples can be good. They provided so many jobs for so many people, provided so many opportunities for so many people. And I just think it's super, I just think it's so amazing. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I'm so proud of them and I can't wait to see where they go in the future and I can't wait to uh, be there to support them uh, even more and shit who knows maybe I'll even make a video with the sideman one day you know I'm manifesting that I'm gonna speak that one to existence I really want to do that but yeah um, I think that'll be all for this reaction I'm gonna stop talking now because I can talk forever so don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like the channel and if you like this content if you want to support me you can do that by clicking the link in the description and then the link is gonna be pinned in the comments as well and you can buy my merch and because of super fire and finally i hope you guys have a great day or a night and i'll see you guys next time kebaki out peace